final video in the provocations uh, section is for the two unicorn cards, one on the right and one on the left. Uh, we only do unicorn with the left foot, with the dagger, the cloak, and other secondaries. So only look at uh, the right foot forward for sword in one hand, because this is not a terribly useful position to be in with just uh, your weapon, your, your main weapon. This is a very short section. It's maybe a total of eight plays, all of which are kind of come back to the same theme, which is this idea of invitation, which is this idea of you know, creating these openings to see what a partner does. So starting with our right to forward in Unicorn of the Right Foot, we have two options here. So number one is we are going to step to their left and strike their sword with a mandrito squalimro, that mezzo mandrito, and then we are going to throw a reverso to their head. So see on the side, we're going to step to the side, put it reverse that guard, and strike to the head. As the person on the receiving end of this, I simply want to take that energy, bring the left hand to the bring the right hand to the left side of my head, and step back. So I use that energy that I used to send my sword to my outside and bring it up and back down. So I'm not necessarily trying to hit anything here, but I am trying to use what they've given me to prevent them from moving forward with their action. Now our second option here is to very, very gradually creep up to their inside until eventually we're hitting them in the time it takes me to move my, to move my arm forward. So we're going to do an imbrocata, bring your left foot behind, and then relax to our gate. If they do nothing, we keep doing this until we hit them. As the patient, we're going to respond with our own imbrocata as a feint to see what they do in response. So we're here, we're going to step to our side, we're going to think to their face as they go to defend, we're going to drop our point and strike to their right side. So that's it for the right hand. When we put in dagger hand, we have two more options. Now, first one being we can attack the exposed left hand with an imbrocata, and then throw a stramazzone to finish. Or we can feint an imbrocata and attack the left hand with a mezzo mandrito. So, we're here, their left hand, the top of this point opens, so we're going to thrust that hand, and then cut to that hand. So we're going to do it twice to really see how they respond. Now, as the person on the receiving end, to make this really work, it's important that, so we're going to do the outside slip here, so I actually need to bring my point underneath. I have to do that very well. I need to bring this point underneath and strike to the right side of their head. Or we can do a feint in response, see what they do, and then respond as we need to. So here, they go for hand, maybe we'll feint, meaning that we have our, right foot, our lead foot forward. Depending on how they react, we could cut to the side, cut to that side, cut high, thrust, any one of those things. So the time, they go for a hand, we paint to their face, and they can go for the leg with a mojito. Now, second option, we're going to faint that imbrocata to the face, and then strike the left hand. So here we're going to go over their dagger as they raise it to cut themselves. We're going to strike the hand as it's coming across. As the person responding, 
This is a little bit annoying. He uses the expression, do not react. Uh, meaning that we're not gonna move our feet, or rather our knee foot. So we still have to move our hand, otherwise they'll hit us. So here, they go to strike us in the face. We're gonna raise our hand, and then as they come in to strike his hand, we're going to step back and attack their arm. In this case, their right arm. So again, our non-reaction is to make sure they don't hit us, and then as they change their attack, we simply pull this out of the way and strike their exposed arm with our own mangrito. Finally, we have cloak with the right hand. Once again, we have two options. We can strike at the arm holding the cloak with a imbrocato or a mezzo mandrito, in both cases ending in punta di rostrata, or we can feint and then throw a reverso to that cloak hand. So options being either I do this, hitting that arm, or we strike with the hand using a mezzo mandrito. In either case, I'm going to step back and throw a mandrito to their hand. Is our first option. So as they're going to attack our hand, we attack their extending arm. So kind of a mezzo tempo action. Not only defending, I'm striking the arm as it's extending. Uh, alternatively, uh, especially against the mandrito, I can treat this as an actual attack, so I'm going to step into it. So as they come in with that attack, we're going to step into it, picking it up before it picks up any, any speed, any power, defend, and then strike to the, their leg with that mandrito. So one more time, so here, as they do the mandrito to the cloak, step in and strike, ending up in Chingiale. Our second option here is fainting this imbrocanto and then throwing a reverso to the cloak instead. So I want to faint that imbrocanto and turn that into a reverso striking about there. Or if the arm is really standard, we can actually hit further up what's not covered by the cloak. Now again, we see this expression do not react as our response, meaning that we need to move our hand around a little bit, we're, we're not going to commit any feet yet. So we're going to not react, and then we're going to void as the actual attack comes in, let it go past, and then ideally strike with our own imbrocato, which is what they were trying to hit us with in the first place. So we are here. As they come in with that Ibrakat, we want to get the cloak up here. As they turn, so I have not committed my foot yet. As he goes to throw that reversal, we want to put everything back here without putting any weight on the right leg. As it goes by, he will come forward with their own Ibrakata. Straight into the chest, so from the side, or here, raise bring everything back, and then go forward again. In both cases, using the right foot, but in the first case, I am not putting any weight on the right leg. So I can lift this all the way up, nothing there, and then I replace it. So that does it with uh, of the right foot. Let's do the left foot. Here we only have three possibilities. Two with a sword and dagger, and then one with a sword and cloak. So sword and dagger, we can kind of do this creeping forward step where we slowly inch forward without making too much motion or any with our body to kind of see what I do. In this case, we're trying to invite an attack to our inside, our high inside. As they attack, we're going to defend with the dagger and strike, stepping to the right side with our imbrocata. So we are creeping forward, they attack, defend, step, and come.
come down to iron gaze. In response, we are going to step to their side and strike with the arrow nipple kata. So if we are perceiving them stepping forward, we're simply going to kind of interrupt them as they're doing that. Because while they're just stepping, they're not attacking us, giving us the chance to do so. So that's option one. Uh, option two is we can, let's say this attack comes, this imprakata, we can defend the imprakata using the outside slip. So we're here. I haven't really attacked, or I can give you a look of an attack. As they come in, we simply guide their sword to our right, to our outside, and strike to the head. So it's kind of the other day of come forward with this Imbrakata, and I need to deal with it in a very expedient fashion. Other possibility is they're going to faint an Imbrakata to the face, and we are going to strike with a Mandurito to the leg. So we're here, take a small step, cut to the leg. Once again, we have don't react. So we're still going to raise our hand so they don't hit us in the face. That'd be, that'd be nice. And then as the actual, the actual attack comes, we are going to step back and strike the leg. So we're here, they're going to give the Ipricata in the face. We raise our dagger up. As they come to attack the leg, we're going to strike with a Mandurito to the extending arm. This gives us the last play, Soren Coke. Left at the corner. Is a fainted imbrocata to the face from the outside because I want to get around that coke. And then we get throw a mandrito to the leg. So we're here, I want to faint to the head, maybe stepping a little bit short. It's enough feet here. And then tap to the leg as their coke is going up to defend themselves. So fairly straightforward, and then as the person responding, I simply want to step to the inside and strike the inside of the arm with a mandorito. So much like everything else we do, we're just getting to the inside. Striking their arm as it extends, or striking their body as it comes forward. So that covers the two Ali corner guards. In the next video, we'll be looking at the stepping in the guard, sorry the variation of the attacks using all three combinations. So look forward to that.